All right, so first and foremost, I want to give our praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahushai, Ba'asham, Raka, Kodash. We see double and see apostles and elders agree most and rule well. And so the Shon saw the Akim, also the pushing word on the truth and so the Dean and the out. When it comes to the in season, season, we say Shalom. You know, this going in time, um, you know, I was having a conversation with, with someone, you know, and, and the person was asking me, well, why do you celebrate Christmas and these things? And I was breaking it down for him, you know, showing him, you know, the different, the different aspects and, and, and things about it, you know, how it's wrong, you know, we go back to pagan worship and all these things. And, you know, one of the things you jump up and say is that you say that, okay, if it's not written in the Bible, then you can take part in it. And I was like, yeah, but even though the word Christmas is not there, it have a, it have a tradition that the heathen used to take part that, that are written in the scriptures. But he didn't get that. You know, what he get was that, you know, and that, okay, well, it's not there and we can take part in it and how the world evolving you know um you know yeah you should do okay something good you know and what come to my mind is that what I tell him I say is we rather do you rather obey man or you rather obey God you know and that is the thing and that is the thing about these people outside here they rather look good for men than look than look good for look good for the Lord they rather obey men than obey the Lord you understand? Just by that statement he make about the word evolving and you know it's something to do good and all these things that have nothing to do with anything good. You know? So let's open up the scripture here. This is Acts chapter 5, verse 29. Right? It said then then Peter and the other apostles matter of fact. Um let me go to verse 27. Right? And and when they had brought them they set them before the council, and the high priest asked them, saying, Did not we straightly command you that ye should not teach in this name? And behold, ye fell Jerusalem with your doctrine, and intend to bring this man's blood upon us. And this is it's like the same thing we're doing now, because what we're doing is following back Israel again. Like, back with the what, the correct doctrine. And and the same is how we do that. You know, the, the people who we do that. So they know what? They say what? And intend to bring this man's blood upon us? It's verse 29. He said, Then Peter and the, and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. And that is just straight to the point. We, 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 we rather obey God than man. It's not about looking good. And it's not about, um, it's not about pleasing them. It's about pleasing him about Shemi or Shai. There's a difference between us and these people outside here. They rather look good for men. Right? They rather look good for men. They don't look um um because they just they just their mindset, you know, want to look good out for the for the world, you're good, you're set. But just as Peter say, just as Peter and the other apostles say, right? They say verse twenty nine said then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men and that's the thing. We obey the Lord. That is why we do take part in these festivities, all these things. We stay away from it. It's not about the world ever evolving and not about times change. It's not about that. It's about still keeping the, the, the words that you have about Shemir or Shai standing firm to him. And that is the thing. When that is the excuse they use that the world changing, you know, um, we could do this, we could do that. I know this times change and all this thing, yeah, but the Lord didn't change. And that was a point that drew to him too. Yes, everything changing, but the Lord don't change. The scriptures say what the Lord changes not. So we're supposed to keep the things that the Lord said to keep and stay away from the things the Lord said to stay away from. Um, and I even draw a point to him. I say, well, okay, if you're saying at all, you could celebrate Christmas, right? I say, the gay people, it had gay marriages going on. You know, man and man and God say that that is abomination. So then where's the then where's the point of that? You jump up on your body, you say, nah, well God say to stay away from that and that is not good. So we think that so I say well, is it is the same thing with Christmas. You know? And with that one he kinda hush him out because you get to understand that he picking and choosing aside. Whatever he loves to do, he will do it. But with the things he hate, he wouldn't take part in it. So like just for instance, like <laughs> Christmas and, and the the fire tree is 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 sin upon sin, right? It's sin. So it's no difference there is sin. You're gonna sin. Taking part in any, any other stuff. Right? But just because he love one and he the other, he find, you know, one better than the other, but no, it's just sin. 
right? So we didn't over. I see them Peter and the other apostles answer and say, We ought to obey God rather than men, right? Um, I'm gonna jump down next scripture here. Yeah. This Acts chapter 4, verse 19. It said, Then Peter and John answered and said unto them, The matter of fact, I'll start from verse 17. It said, But that it spread no further among the people, let us straightly threaten them that they speak henceforth to no man in this name. It said, They called them and commanded them not to speak at all nor teach in the name of Yahweh Shai. It said, But Peter and John answered and said unto them, whether it be right in the sight of God to hearken unto you more than ye unto God, judge ye, right? We say, for we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard. So when they had further, further threatened them, they let them go, finding nothing how they might punish them because of the people. For all men glorified God for that which was done. So that is the thing. We had to glorify the Lord, and not man. And just imagine this, the, the apostles, was they was being what, threatened. They was going and get stone, you know, but to stand firm because in idea we have to follow who? The Lord rather than men. And this is a perfect example of the fact that they're telling them, they're telling them here not to speak the name, you know, not to speak about your shy. Right? And it's the same thing will come to the same thing happening us today. What is so doing, what these two are trying to do is like stop us from preaching, stop us from speaking the truth. But we do what we won't. We will always do what? Obey the Lord. We will always obey the Lord. Right? Jump to the next scripture here. Yeah, jump to Luke chapter eight, um, 11, verse 28. Right? Let's see. Um, you see, but he said, he said, Oh, <laughs> this was even this script. I was even going to like the when they say, um, when the woman say you're supposed to bless the woman and so forth, and all these things. But I just want to say, they say, he say, but he said, ye rather bless are they that hear the word of God and keep it. <laughs> he said, bless are they that hear the word of God and keep it. And now, but hear the word of man and keep it, and hear the word of God, right? Right? So, it's not about pleasing man and yeah, we want to keep Christmas because uh, you know the world doing it and all these things. No, we're not supposed to follow the world. You know, yeah, <laughs> this is my team because that, you know, um, you're not doing this in the Bible, so you know, we can keep it, you know, men doing it. And nah, it's not about that. We we obey the Lord, we obey the Abashami Oshai. Right. Um, let's see one more scripture here. Um, John, I'm gonna go to John chapter 3, verse 36. Right? Alright, so this is John chapter 3, verse 36. It says, He that believeth on the Son had everlasting life. And he that believe it, not the Son, shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth in him. So yeah, so we, we believe on Yahweh Shai, we believe the things he stay, how to stay away from, we got to keep and so forth. So that, that's the thing, you see, he that believe it, on the Son, had everlasting life. And that is what we will find, following Yahweh Shai, that is what we will get, everlasting life. And see, and he that believe it, not the Son, shall not see life. And that is what we know with them. You see, but the wrath of God abideth in him, yeah, because there was, just like that simple excuse, you find excuses for certain things you know just know at this moment even though he celebrate christmas he hate faggots but 
Let me just see by next. So if you so close, see the wool revolve, and he might follow that. If I jump down, let me jump to one last screen there. This is Psalms 19, verse 7. Right? It said, The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making, making wise and simple. So, yeah, it said, The law of the Lord is perfect. So, that is what we turn to. It's perfect because when it, you talk about Christmas, all these things, that ain't perfect. Right? But you see, but the law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. You see, the testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise and simple. So, yeah, so the testimony of the Lord is sure, and making wise the simple. <laughs> you see, the statutes of the Lord are right. <laughs> so, that is what we have to do. And I was showing him this. We, we, not about man, it's about the Lord. So you see, the statutes of the Lord are right, rejoice in the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. We see, the fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. You see, more to be desired are they than gold. Ye did, ye than much fine gold, sweeter also than the honey and the honeycomb. That's how precious this word is. That's how important falling the Lord is. You understand? Know, Fall in the Lord's laws, statues, and so forth. That is how nice it is. You see, it is sweeter also than honey. Yeah, because when you read the things we're supposed to stay away from, you get to understand. You know, you get to understand how nice this word is. And before that, yet, when you get to, when you get to read and get to understand the things that are go, we are going to inherit, the things that are going to come to us. You see, moreover, by them is thy servant one, and in keeping of them there is a great reward. So, yeah, so he's saying that all the world changing and so forth, and that all we could go in and celebrate this and that. Wrong. It's saying, moreover, by them is thy servant one. So, we warn that we're not supposed to keep these things through the laws, the statutes, commandments, all these things, right? We warn not to follow any other gods doing the, all these things. You see, and in keeping of them, there is a great reward. So, yeah, but who is who is going to keep that? The Lord says, who is going to keep these things is the elect, you know, the righteous, the righteous, the, 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 the one third, right? You see, who can understand his errors clangs down me from secret force, right? So, yeah. So, so that way it is. It's, it, we we rather follow the Lord than follow men. We rather obey the Lord's sins than man. It's simple as that. Just go back to the act that I start off with. What the, what the apostles did. They said they would rather be God than men. They would be God than they, they rather obey God than man. You know. So with that we give our praises to Yahweh. Basham yo shai basham raka kodash We sit down with apostles and elders and grievance around well And salutations so they are coming to the push and hold on the truth And society day in and day out You know, constantly in season of the season we say Shalom